Get ready to power up your beat skills soon with this video game inspired beat pattern from Nintendo's most well known games, Mario. It's the Super Mario Mushroom. This beat design that looks fine, it's fast fun, easy to make. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you the steps for you to create. So I hope this tutorial will help fulfill your creative needs. Give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beads. Here's a list of everything you need to make the Super Mario Mushroom. The first thing you'll need to do is to take your string, match up the ends, and make a loop on the other end of the string. You'll take your keychain ring and stick the loop inside of the keychain ring. Next, you'll take your two match ends of string and run those through the loop. While holding the keychain ring and pulling the string all the way through the loop, you will have created a knot. Be sure to pull the string tight, ensuring that the knot is nice and secure. This is what your knot should look like. Now that we have two ends of string to use, it's time to create rows to make the mushroom. To make a row, you'll take one end of the string and add your beads to that string. The first row will consist of four beads, a white bead on each end and two red beads in the middle. Once you have those beads on that string, you'll take your other end of string and run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Once you have both ends of string through these beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top. You will continue repeating these same steps when creating additional rows, taking one end of the string and adding your beads to that string. The second row will have red and white beads as well, with a total of eight beads in this sequence. Like we did before, you'll take your other end of string and run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Once you get both ends of the string through all of these beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top. After you finish the row of beads, you may also want to use a toothpick and run it through the row of beads in order to keep these beads straight and reinforced. This will make things tighter and easier to manage when creating this design. Once you have that stick through these row of beads, you may also want to break off the ends of the toothpick to keep the stick from showing through the sides. Once you've broken off the ends of the toothpick, it's back to using both ends of the strings again and creating additional rows. So just keep repeating these steps, follow the pattern, and create additional rows. Don't forget, you can always run a toothpick in between any of these rows to keep the beads aligned and reinforced. So as you can see, creating this pattern should be pretty easy with its repetitive steps and blend of colors giving it the perfect look of the iconic mushrooms straight from the video games. Leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite Mario title is. Once you have finished the seventh row, we're going to take one end of the string and add two red beads on that string. When you have those beads on the string, you'll run them to the top. Now, let's take the other end of the string and add two red beads to that string as well. Now that we have those beads on the string, you'll run them to the top as well. This is what it should look like so far. Now, let's take one end of the string and add eight red beads to that string. Once you have all of those beads on the string, we're taking our other end of the string and running it through those eight beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Once you have that string through both ends of these beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top bringing the beads together. Once you've completed this, you'll use a toothpick to merge the beads on the end to this row. Watch closely as I use the toothpicks to connect the row of beads. Doing this will connect the row of beads, keeping everything aligned and making the string easier to manage when creating the rows, also giving it a cleaner look. Don't forget to break off the ends of the stick to keep the stick from showing through the sides. When you have the 8th row all set, you'll go back to using both ends of the string again and creating a few more additional rows. 
The ninth row will have a total of eight beads, ten and two black beads to represent the eyes of the mushroom. Row 10 will have 10 beads in a similar pattern to help create the shape of the face. All that's left is the final two rows of tan beads. Once you finish the 12th and final row, you'll tie off both ends of string with basic knots to keep everything locked in place. Be sure that you tie off both ends of strings with knots that are tied nice and tight ensuring that everything stays together. Tying off these ends of string might be a little tedious at first when trying to keep the beads aligned in the center. Remember, a toothpick will help keep them in place. Just be sure to take your time and make sure that the beads stay locked in. After you've tied off both ends of strings with basic knots, all that is left is to carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string and your Super Mario Mushroom is now complete. And there you have it. Another video game bead inspired pattern that was easy to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you'd like to add, requests or suggestions, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. And if you are new, or you just haven't already, don't forget you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. Hoping to see you in the next one and fulfill your creative needs. Until next time, thanks for watching Turbo Beads.